Today we're going to be taking a look at this Cami Safe selfie stick tripod. It's a two in one selfie stick tripod. Collapse and measures 15.5 inches and fully extended it goes out to 51 inches. It has a quarter inch mounting screw for DSLR cameras and for a phone holder adapter. It has rubber non-slip foot pads. It has a 180 degree ball head mount. It comes with a Bluetooth remote control that's compatible with both Android and iOS and it's rechargeable. You can use this stand as a selfie stick or as a tripod. The body is made of aluminum alloy. Now that we've gone over all the specs, let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing. Hey there, my name is Adrian with ProjectRamos.com and DealsByPR.com. On this channel, I do tech reviews, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. It comes with the phone holder. Here's the quarter inch mount and another quarter inch mount there. Here is the tripod. Here's the mounting head here. It is adjustable. Loosen that up. So here's the remote and the remote is rechargeable. There's an on and off button here, shutter button there, volume buttons here, and it looks like uh, a micro USB charging port there and an LED indicator light there. And you can take the remote and either mount it like this or like this. So if you're gonna be using the, uh, the remote then you can um, place it on the holder this way and then that way you can still use it while you're holding the uh, tripod. Uh, and if you're gonna be storing it, then you could just take the remote, flip it over, and that way the buttons are not accidentally pressed. So the bottom of the uh, tripod does have these uh, rubber pieces here. So now on this end, it has this piece here that turns the uh, screw there. So if we take the phone mount, place it over the screw, and then you just simply turn here. That's how you, that's how you mount the phone holder onto the tripod. So once it's mounted, now you're able to place your phone inside of the holder. Also found inside of the bag is a thank you card from the manufacturer. And on the flip side, you get uh, a little overview of what each piece in this package uh, can do. We were able to fully extend the tripod and balance our Canon 80D with our 24 to 70 zoom lens. This is a very heavy setup here and uh, we were able to get it to balance. So the tripod is holding up our camera. Now I don't recommend um, using a heavy camera like this on this tripod while it's fully extended because the center of gravity, as you can tell, the feet are, uh, it doesn't have a lot of um, width and uh, length there. So the center of gravity is not very low on this tripod when it's fully extended. So it becomes very flimsy uh, when you're trying to balance a camera that's heavy, such as our Canon 80D here. But I wanted to demonstrate that it is able to handle uh, balancing a camera as heavy as a Canon 80D. Um, now, if you're gonna be using a camera this heavy, then I would recommend not fully extending it, but maybe having it uh, all the way um, collapsed, uh, which isn't gonna give you a whole lot of uh, uh, height there, but it's gonna give you a a much lower center of gravity so that there's less chance that your camera will uh, tip over. So the fact that it's able to balance uh, this heavy camera here, it's going to, uh, it demonstrates that it's definitely going to be able to handle uh, any smartphone and uh, lighter cameras, uh, even point and shoot cameras with no problem when it's fully extended. If you are gonna be using a heavy DSLR such as our setup here, I do recommend 
having the front leg facing parallel with the camera. That way the front weight of the camera can rest on this leg here and it reduces the chance of your camera tipping over. Otherwise, uh, if you don't do that, then uh, there's a high chance that your camera will be able to easily tip over. Pairing the remote control to your phone is very simple. All you gotta do is turn the remote control on. And as soon as the remote is on, it puts it in Bluetooth pairing mode. And as you can tell, it just showed up on our screen here. It's the Yong Teng. So we're just gonna choose that. And we are now paired to the remote. I now have my iPhone 10 mounted onto the tripod using the phone holder. And using the provided remote via Bluetooth, I'm going to trigger a photograph using the uh, Photos app that's built into iOS. So as soon as I hit this button, you can see that it instantly takes a picture. So you can do this simultaneously here. Very easy. And if I hold down the button, it takes several consecutive pictures. Now using the underside mounting hole on the phone holder, you can also place your phone in this orientation here. Once you have it in that orientation, then you can use this adjustment here to move your phone in different angles. So as soon as we loosen this up, we can now move the phone in this orientation, this orientation, or if you wanna get a shot from underneath, you put it in this orientation. So you get quite a few options with this phone holder. You're also gonna be able to use this stand as a selfie stick. And with the length that this uh, stand extends out to, this is gonna allow you to take group photos while you're holding the uh, selfie stick yourself. And the convenient part is that on the handle, you can put the remote in a way that you're gonna be able to trigger the photograph on your phone via Bluetooth without having to hold the uh, remote separately in a different hand because you're gonna be able to install the remote back into its holding uh, uh, piece here on the tripod. And that's gonna make it very convenient for you to be able to take photographs while holding this as a selfie stick and taking a group photo. Another convenient feature of this selfie stick mode on this tripod is that you can also shoot video. So using the same provided Bluetooth remote, using the uh, shutter button, you're gonna be able to trigger the video recording on your camera. So right now I'm in video mode on my iPhone 10, and as soon as I hit this button, you're gonna see that the, it's going to trigger the record, record mode on my camera. And it is now recording. What this comes in handy for is if you're gonna be shooting video uh, this uh, selfie stick is going to help you maintain a more steady shot, especially if you're going to be shooting some kind of B-roll using uh, your smartphone camera, or if you're going to be uh, just walking around taking video, you're going to be able to use this to keep your phone uh, steady as you walk around. And also, you're going to be able to get shots that you probably normally wouldn't be able to get, being that you're going to be able to extend this fully out and be able to get really close into uh, some tight shots that otherwise you would not be able to get into. Or you can get some really um, uh, high up aerial shots uh, in case you're in a crowded area and you need to uh, get your camera up and above everyone else's head. When using the stand as a selfie stick, one of the cool things about it is that this uh, collapsing the legs onto themselves uh, provides a really thick handle to hang on to while using this in selfie stick mode, which adds a lot of stability when you have a heavy phone uh, installed on this selfie stick. Now that we've unboxed and taken a look at this stand, let's go over our final thoughts. Let's talk about the build and design of this stand. The overall stand is made out of aluminum. It does feel very sturdy, uh, although that uh, when you fully extend the stand out, depending on how heavy the device is that you're mounting onto the stand, it can get a little flimsy. So with our DSLR, our Canon 80D with the 24 to 70 lens, that's a very heavy setup. And you really do need a very sturdy tripod to be able to handle a camera with that kind of weight. And as you were able to see in our demonstration, this stand was able to hold the camera with no problem. 
However, it is flimsy when it's fully uh, extended. So I don't recommend using this stand fully extended with cameras that are that heavy. Uh, but however, when the camera is collapsed as it is collapsed right now, uh, it was able to hold the camera fairly sturdy there. Um, although I don't really recommend this type of stand for a very heavy DSLR, especially because those DSLRs are very expensive. Uh, however, lighter DSLRs, it's gonna be able to handle that with no problem. When it comes to smartphones, no issue there. That weight, uh, this stand can handle very well. And um, also the fact that you can use this stand as either a tripod or as a selfie stick is makes this tripod very versatile. And actually that's what makes this tripod different from what you'll find out in the market. Typically you're either getting a tripod or you're getting a uh, selfie stick. And with this stand here, you're getting both all in one. And I really like the fact that you know, the legs do extend out, you know, they don't extend out very wide, but it's wide enough to be able to handle, uh, you know, a smartphone and a light DSLR or even a point and shoot camera. Um, but I like the fact that the legs, when collapsed, becomes a handle of the selfie stick. And the uh, remote control is, it does have a holder built in so that when you are using it as a selfie stick, you can just place the remote on there and be able to trigger the functions on the remote while you're uh, holding the selfie stick uh, on its handle. I also like that the legs collapse down and it provides a really good handle when using this as a selfie stick. So overall, I think the manufacturer did a great job on the design and construction of this stand. Now let's talk about the setup and operation of this stand. Being that you're able to use this stand as either a selfie stick or a tripod, uh, the manufacturer did a really good job at making this very simple to use. Now, it begins with the ball head. Uh, depending on what you're going to be mounting onto this stand, uh, determines whether or not you're going to be using the phone holder or you're just going to use a quarter inch um, uh, screw here to mount a DSLR right onto the stand. So it begins there. And to be able to screw this uh, quarter inch screw onto either the phone holder or DSLR, it made it very simple. So all you gotta do is just line it up and it provides this uh, rotary knob here that is attached to the screw and all you gotta do is just turn that. And then before you fully tighten it, then you just gotta get the angle that you want. Once you have the angle that you want, then you fully tighten it down. Now, once you have that installed, whether it's the DSLR camera or the phone holder, then you get an additional adjustment here, which all you gotta do is just loosen this, and now you're gonna be able to adjust it like this. So you're gonna be able to get several different angles here. And then once you find the angle that you want, then again, you just tighten that down and it holds it perfectly in place. Then after that, you get these three pieces here, these little flaps that all you gotta do is just open up, open them up like that, and that's gonna allow you to extend this, this stand fully out to the 51 inches that the manufacturer states. And then once you have it extended out to the length that you want, all you gotta do is just lock these guys down and you're uh, good to go there. And that's it. And once it's locked down, it's very sturdy. It's not gonna move anywhere. And once you're done there, all you gotta do is just open these up again and then collapse it and lock them in place and you're done there. Now, for the bottom of the stand, you have another adjustment here, a, uh, uh, a screw here. All you gotta do is just loosen this up. Once it's loose, then the legs just simply uh, extend out like that. And then once you have the legs extended, then you can just fasten this down again and it holds the legs in place. Now, when you're ready to collapse it, all you gotta do is just loosen this up, push that up and lock it into place and you're good to go. So as far as operation, that's it. Those are the only adjustments you get there, but it allows you to uh, uh, set up this stand exact in the exact angle and height that you need, depending on your application. So overall set up and operation, very straightforward, and the manufacturer did a really good job in the uh, design of the operation of this stand. Now let's talk about the options that you get with this stand. As we already mentioned and demonstrated, you can use it as a tripod, you can adjust the height, you can adjust the angle, 
Um, so you're going to be able to do quite a bit in terms of using this as a tripod. You're going to be able to mount a smartphone, you're going to be able to mount a DSLR, and as we were able to show in our demonstration, it was able to handle a, our Canon 80D, which is a very heavy DSLR when paired with the 24 to 70 uh, lens. Uh, it's a very heavy setup and this stand was able to handle that weight. So as a tripod you get quite a few options there. And then as a selfie stick you get even more options being that it comes with the remote. Uh, you're going to be able to put the remote on the stand and while you're using it in selfie mode as we already explained you're going to be able to uh, trigger either the camera or the video on your uh, smartphone. The other advantage that you get using it as a selfie stick is that you can also use it as a um, almost kind of like a gimbal to hold your camera steady if you're going to be shooting video, especially if you're going to be doing uh, B-roll footage. This is going to allow you to hold your smartphone steady as you're panning around getting your shots. Now another advantage that you get um, using it as a selfie stick is if you're trying to shoot video or even a photograph and there's a crowd in front of you, you're going to be able to easily just fully extend this um, while you have your phone installed and then using the remote control, you're going to be able to get your phone over a crowd of people to be able to get that perfect shot that you otherwise wouldn't be able to get if you were to be holding your phone with your hand. Whether you're using this stand as a selfie stick or as a tripod, you're gonna get quite a few options to be able to get the perfect shot that you're looking for. And now for the million dollar question. Is the CamiSafe selfie stick tripod worth your hard earned money? As of the recording of this video, this stand sells for $23.99 on Amazon. I think it's a great bargain for the cost of the product. If you're gonna be using this as a selfie stick, you're gonna get quite a few options there. It works really great as a selfie stick. If you want to use it as a tripod, you're going to get a few options there as well. And it works really well as a tripod as we were able to demonstrate. And if you're looking for a stand that you can throw in your bag, uh, this is very compact. Not only that, you're going to be able to use it as a tripod or a selfie stick. So you're going to get pretty much an all-in-one solution when it comes to a stand for either your smartphone or your DSLR camera. So overall, I think you're getting quite a bit of value for the cost of the product at $23.99 I think it's a bargain deal for this stand. This is going to complete my review of the Cami Safe selfie stick tripod. If you found some value in this video I would appreciate it if you were to hit the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe that way you get notified the next time we upload a new video. And on that note I will see you on the next review.